Dude, it smells like piss in here. Shut up. You have a rough night or something? Every night's a rough night. I've got a notebook in the back somewhere. Go get it for me, would you? Who is that one? Ah! God, jeez, man. Get my notebook, Price. Then we'll talk. Now I'm fetching things for Frank. How low can I go? Wait, Frank got a puppy? For real? Oh, man. Jeez. That's an expensive dog. What can you tell us about this huge fire? It's a nasty one, all right. Big, hard to contain. We don't typically see fires like this on the Got it. There haven't been any serious injuries yet, but that could change at any time. Don't mind if I do. Don't even fucking think about it. Damn it. But not advancing toward it. Unusual indeed. What causes a fire to behave that way? I don't honestly know. Right now we're doing everything we can just to keep it. Frank must be spending hundreds of dollars on this dog. Hey there. It's okay, little guy. Aw, oh, shit! Pompadou, get up here! Pompadou? You little killer. Is this what I think it is? Ugh, shit. I'm in the red. Time to find out what Frank wants to discuss. Argus and Bowser. Okay. Is this it? Have a seat. Pompadou, huh? That's one badass name for a dog. It's French. Does it mean, like, tough guy or something? Do I look like I speak fucking French? Okay, so, who was that woman? What woman? The one I saw coming out of your RV. Oh yeah, I meant to introduce you. Her name is Mind Your Own Fucking Business. <laughs> Rachel would want to know more. I bet I can convince Frank it's harmless to tell me. Dude. I'm just curious. What's the big deal? Idiot. I make money by being discreet. Frank, you know I hate everyone. Who do you think I'm gonna tell? Come on, Price. I gotta protect my clients. Happy customers are the foundation of a good business. Hey, so... Uh... I had this dream the other night about a cloud that swallowed Arcadia Bay. 
You too? See? We're a lot alike, Frank. We've got shit in common. Sure, I guess. So why are you so hung up on this chick? Come on, Frank. This is Arcadia Bay. Gossip is all we have to keep us from hanging ourselves out of boredom. I don't know. Frank. Talk. And I'll get my mom to make you something special. Like what? Uh... How about that firehouse chili of hers? You, you got it. The woman you saw. Her name's Sarah. Showed up a few weeks ago. Causing all kinds of trouble for all sorts of people. Like who? It's a little out of your league, okay? But what kind of trouble, exactly? Forget about it, Chloe. You shouldn't have opened my mouth. Thanks for telling me. Whatever. You hear the mill burn down? Yeah. I, uh, heard some stuff about it. Crazy. My friend Damon runs the place. He lost a lot of money last night. How about you? Did you lose anything in the fire? No. But I'll probably get pulled into whatever shit Damon's dealing with right now. Lately, he's been doing some stuff uh, I don't like. But I don't seem to have much leverage with him like I once had. Anyway, you and I have shit to discuss. Is this about the buck 75? What? The money that I owe you? Oh, yeah. Yeah, no, I, I don't give a shit about that. Wait. Do you have it? Give me like another week. I don't have enough right now. I wonder if I'll ever get tired of your crap. You're lucky you're the least of my problems. Open my notebook. Last page. Should be some entries for a kid named Drew. You know him? Drew North? Y yeah, he's... Holy shit. That's a lot of money. Drew runs Oxy for Damon. Apparently football players eat it like candy. That's smart, I guess. It pays well? Go Bigfoots. Problem is, Drew owes a grant, and he's not answering my calls. You know what's going on with them? No, I never talked to him. Or his type. No one's just a type, Price. Anyway, here's the job. I'm taking you to Blackwell. Go to Drew's room, find the money, and I'll meet you to pick it up. Can you handle that? Yeah, of course, but what's in it for me? Idiot, you still owe me. So, if I do this, then we're good? That, and I'll do even better. I'll give you a 10% cut of the money. Okay. Yeah, sure. I'll do it. What's the matter? It might be a little tough. I, I'm not supposed to be at Blackwell. I got suspended this morning. Congratulations. Still easier for you to go on campus than for me. If you can't even do this price... A hundred dollars closer to leaving Arcadia Bay. With a bit of cash and the truck fixed, Rachel and I could really do it. We could leave for good. I'll do it. Good deal.
think I'd be back this soon. Well, here goes nothing. Better hurry up and get into the dorms. Hey, Steph. Whoa. Hey, Chloe. Surprised to see me on parole? I told you Wells was out to get you. That text was a rare courtesy, by the way. I don't normally get involved in other people's dumb decisions. Thanks for trying, but skipping yesterday was totally worth it. Skipping with Rachel Amber does have an appeal. Well, yeah. So what are you doing here? Uh, I figured I'd see the Tempest. For real? You? Yeah, I know. It's not really my thing. <laughs> Kinda hoping it's a shit show. What the hell? I'm the stage manager. Oh, I think I knew that. My bad. You better mean it. Honestly, the show's really good. It's worth seeing. I'm sure it is. I am worried about Victoria coming in now and trying to hog every scene, but the cast overall is fantastic. You get to see a totally different side of everyone, especially the guys. Okay. I'm intrigued. Go on. Like, Hayden's so annoying, but when he puts on that crown, he's actually very princely. And Nathan is Caliban? <laughs> There's so much depth there. Right. Depth. Yeah, well, good luck with all of that. Maybe I'll see you later. Oh, hey. I wanted to ask you something. Shoot. I've been planning to make a move on Rachel, but not if you two were together. Make a move? So, are you? Uh... I mean, that's Rachel's business. Or maybe yours and Rachel's business. But if you feel comfortable telling me... She's... single. You sure? That's what I said. I'll see you later, Steph. Have fun storming the castle. Such a nice white door. Though, it feels like it's missing something. Doesn't it? Too bad I can't tag it with Samuel standing right there. Hey, Samuel. Keeping busy? Always, Chloe Price. I didn't think you'd be returning to these hallowed halls so soon. <laughs> Neither did I. I have the feeling it wasn't uh, the books or bricks of Blackwell that led you back. <laughs> what? You're here for someone. A special someone, yes? I've gotta go, man. Uh, <laughs> it's been real. Be kind to yourself. 
Chloe Price. Nice work, Samuel. Huh. <laughs> That's some intellectual shit, Samuel. What are you doing here? Aren't you supposed to be at home, thinking over your endless list of questionable decisions? Dude, why do you care about my questionable decisions? It offends me when intelligence is wasted. <laughs> Did Evan just call me intelligent? Damn straight. Wow. Evan looks... really ridiculous. Chloe? Uh-huh. I've learned something about myself recently. Something that I think you might understand. I've learned that if I'm passionate about something, it's probably the right thing to care about. For example, I've been trying to get the students and administration interested in forest fire prevention. That is kind of an odd topic to focus on. People are so eager to pass on responsibility to anyone else so that they can live comfortable, unworried, and ultimately meaningless lives. You see what happened? <laughs> Looks like you were right. <laughs> Go, Evan. You're a hero of the people. I know you feel like I do. A about different things, I'm sure. But you only give a shit about what you give a shit about. I like that. A anyway, you're not supposed to be here. You should leave. Locked. Figures. Looks like my options are become a master lock picker or swipe someone's keys. Bingo. If only those keys were unsupervised. What's Samuel working on? Uh, the sprinklers? If Samuel's working on the sprinklers, some damage here might get his attention. But Evan is right there. <sighs> Hey! Shit. I wanted you to go the other way. Like, as far as possible, the other way. Time for a fresh start. Here we go. Uh. Gotcha. Oh, perfect. You're welcome. Oh, 
Awesome. Now I just have to wait for Samuel to turn on the... <laughs> that works. <laughs> Sorry, Samuel. All right, time to find Drew's room. No time like the present. Chloe? <laughs> hey, Skip. How's it going? Not that it isn't great to see you and all, but what are you doing here? Didn't you just get suspended? Relax. I'm just uh, visiting a friend. I, I can't. I, I really can't just let you go in. Come on, Skip. I break the rules, and you think it's awesome. Let me break this rule. For old times' sake. I want to, Chloe. But I really can't. I'm going inside, dude. You're just gonna have to let this slide. I don't think I can. In fact, I think I have to ask you to state your official business or else vacate Blackwell property. I hate to do this to Skip, but I've got to get inside. Maybe if I make him really uncomfortable, he'll feel guilty and let me pass. What's my official business? I'm going to the bathroom. Is that what you wanted to hear? Is that interesting to you? What? No. No, it's my job to ask, Chloe. If you keep violating students' personal rights, you're going to get fired. It's not like that. Do you know what Wells would do to me if I didn't, you know, patrol? Is Wells pressuring you to write more students up? I'm not even a student, but sure, don't let that stop you. I thought we were friends. Where is this coming from? I thought we were friends, too, but when the man comes down on you, you come down on me. Is that it? Look, look, look! I am really sorry, Chloe. I'm just so confused right now. Just look the other way, Skip. It's not like I'm up to anything criminal. I just need to use the bathroom. I don't know what to do. Seriously, my uterus is on fire, dude. What? Is that, uh, descriptive enough? I don't want to know about- En fuego utero, Skip. En fuego utero. I don't, I don't know what to say. I'm so sorry. Matthews. <sighs> I'm here? I've gotten reports of an unknown vehicle in the parking lot. 
Thank God. Oh, I'm on it. I won't tell Wells. Do what you have to do, okay? I won't tell anyone. All right, which one is Drew's room? Elliot does work really hard. I guess I'm happy for him. That's not half bad. Wow. I remember this show. Crazy that Elliot would hold on to this picture after so long. Elliot's mom seems nice. Lucky Dana. <laughs> Warren Graham is such a nerd. <laughs> There's way less porn here than I would have thought. I knew Elliot did well in class, but I didn't realize he was here on a full ride. Elliot's kind of preppy in his own way. Maybe he does belong at Blackwell. Yeah, uh, definitely Drew's room. Good. <sighs> Drew's not here. Okay. <laughs> if I were Drew, where would I hide my money? Holy shit, Drew. A college scholarship? No wonder you're so into football. I didn't realize Drew was this good at sports. I bet he can't wait to get out of Arcadia Bay. Frank wasn't lying. Looks like Drew sells happy pills to his fellow meatheads. So many folks are shit out of luck around here. At least Drew has some prospects. Too bad I lost my release form. I was really looking forward to running all those sweaty laps. I don't like the look of this dude. Looks like Mikey's been staying here with Drew. <laughs> they look so happy. Oh, man. 
Looks like Drew's dad is having a hard time. <sighs> is the money in there? All right. Guess I have to crack a four-digit code. Look at that. More numbers. Holy shit, Drew. A college scholarship? Plenty of possible combinations here. I don't like the look of this dude. A lot of numbers on here. Would Drew really use something like this for a lock combo? Damn it. Wrong numbers. Didn't think Drew would be into this nerd shit. Or, I guess this is all Mikey's. I didn't realize Drew was this... Frank wasn't lying. Looks like so many folks are shit out of luck around here. At least Drew has some prospects. Hmm. I wonder exactly how important 516 is to Drew. Damn it. Wrong numbers. <laughs> they look so happy. Look at that. More numbers. Hoping that Drew went with something obvious for his lock combo. A lot of numbers on here. Would Drew really use something like this for a lock combo? Is the money in there? All right. Guess I have to crack a four-digit code. I didn't realize Drew was this good at sports.
Frank wasn't lying. Look, so many folks are shit out of luck around here. At least Drew has some prospects. Holy shit, Drew. A college scholarship? No wonder you're so into football. Damn it. Wrong numbers. Damn it. Wrong numbers. Might actually need some help with this one. One, two, two, seven. Ugh, worth a shot. Yes! This is kind of fun. Ah. Oh. Did little Drew beat you up too? <sighs> Jackpot. I'm kind of good at this. Okay, got the money. Hey, Mikey. Chloe, what are you doing here? I was <laughs> looking for your brother, but uh, he's not here, so. Why? Bro, we gotta go. Yesterday wasn't enough? You want to go another round? Doesn't matter. Mikey, get your stuff. Let's move. Drew, relax. Slow down. Shit. You're making me think you're nervous about something. Drew, what's going on? Don't worry about it. Stay in here and don't say anything, little brother. Whatever you do, don't open the door. You know what's going on? Damon, you shouldn't have come here. School's not the place for this. Really? Where is the place to collect my fucking money? Shit. I told you, I don't have it. Sales are down, man. Nobody wants to get high right now. But look, it's spring season. We just started two-a-days. Those are gonna kill us. I'll be able to sell all the oxy you've got. Drew, you owe me a grand. Where is it? I said I don't have it right now. I heard about your dad's job, by the way. Tough times. 
Yeah. Bet a grand would mean a lot to him right now. Where's my money, Drew? I don't know what you expect me to do. I can't just make money appear out of thin air. Oh, I want my fucking money! You don't have to hit me, man. I'm gonna... Uh, Where is it? Uh, Please! Just give me one week. Uh, You're just going to lie there? I thought football players were supposed to be tough. Uh, Sorry to have to do this! Kid, no uh, one steals from me! Uh, no one. Fuck. Fuck! Let me go! No! Your brother said to stay inside. It'll be okay, Mikey. It'll be okay. Damn, you are one tough kid. Fuck you. Yeah? Well, what about this? Good luck running on that knee now. Bye-bye football. Well, I'm done. Get my money. Or maybe it'll be your little brother I talk to next. See you soon. Ugh. Ugh. Drew! It's, it's okay. I'm okay, little brother. Thank you, Chloe. Thank you. Uh, here. It sounds like you could use this. You took this from my locker? Frank asked me to. I... I didn't know. I, I'm sorry, man. My dad. He... He needs this money. Way more than that asshole does. Thanks. Drew, you need to get to the hospital. <sighs> Don't tell anyone about this, okay? Yeah, no. No way. What, um, what are you going to do? <sighs> about Damon? I don't know. <sighs> One day at a time. I hear you. This day has been so messed up. And that's before having to watch Victoria butcher Rachel's role. At least I can be here for Rachel. <laughs> if I can find her. Did 
dog dick. Rachel? Oh, come on, V. You got this. You got this. Oh, shit, shit, shit. I can't do this. I'm going to ruin the play. What are you two doing here? Or did you forget? You let this loser dropout sabotage you. But really, I should be thanking you. Now I have everything I wanted. And you've got a new friend. So I guess we're both doing great. Now please leave so I can get ready for my performance. Even though I wish I was the one performing tonight, Victoria, I really am happy for you. I hope it's everything you want it to be. We both do. Right, Chloe? Yeah, I guess. I mean, even if you are super lame to me all the time, I hope you don't completely suck up there. And even if you do suck, who cares? I mean, let's be real, you're not Rachel. But that's okay, because you're Victoria Chase, you know? Even if you suck. Uh, oh my god. Thank you. Oh, that's exactly what I needed to hear. Uh, okay. Cool. Tea? For your instrument. We want you at your best tonight. Uh, uh. Okay, V. Time to shine. Oh, Price, that was epic. You distracted her just long enough for me to slip those pills into her teeth. I did. Oh, okay. I better start getting into costume before the- Sweet Carnation, we're ruined. The show is ruined. That was quick. My dear young artists, a misfortune most unkind has befallen us. Juliet is waylaid. That infernal inferno is the culprit, closing down the roads and robbing us of our aerial. Would that she could but manifest on her master's whim as a true spirit. Alas, devoid of an understudy, the situation is a dire one indeed. I'm afraid we may have to cancel. Truly, we are a cursed lot. Even my prodigious imagination cannot conceive of a worse turn of fate. Ah! Touché. Mr. Keaton, perhaps I could fill in for Victoria? My dear, your visage is as a vessel sent by the heavens to offer passage to my stranded soul. But I'm afraid without our Ariel, all is still lost. What? Oh, no. Mr. Keaton, no. Chloe could step in for Juliet. No fucking chance. At least until the road's clear. The cynic. She's the right fit for Juliet's costume. She is indeed. Tell me, my dear, have you ever acted before? Hell no. She's being modest. We play improv games all the time. And she's fantastic at it. My dear, what if I told you that the entire fate of the production rests upon your slender shoulders? 
I'd say you're super fucked. Chloe, please. For me. <sighs> Damn it. I can't believe Rachel's talked me into this. What?